Okay, we'll make a start on the housing for the spherical race that we machined up before. So we'll have a spherical shaped hole on the ID for this to go into. So we'll crack on. <laughs> Okay, we'll get that drilled and bored, and we'll start the profile of the race. <laughs> Brush all this off, nothing like a bit of cast iron on your waist to, if you want them worn out. Okay, we'll get our boring bar in.
So if we go one inch three hundred thou, one inch three hundred, one inch three twenty, we're going to be on the money. We've got plenty to go yet. Trying to keep my arm out of the way. <laughs> one inch, three hundred and one, three hundred and two. That's good. So, like the, the ball that we're doing, it it's, comes up as uh, just in the very corner. So the ball will be the same size as the very corner of the ball. Be perfect, that'll be good. We'll take the burr off. Well, now we're up to the stage where we have to profile the inside to achieve a precision fit. On our ball here so we're looking in the vicinity of probably half a thou to a thou um, clearance thou and a half very outside maximum we don't want it too sloppy in there so but uh, I think you guys are gonna have to wait till the next episode for that and we'll we'll show you how to profile the inside to take the ball Well, okay, Mr. Bozo here forgot to turn the camera on, didn't he, when he took the first cut through. So I'll re-explain what I explained before that never got recorded. <laughs> so we've had a, we have our boring bar set up on an angle, going into the hole. I've used an old tip, which I've ground a large radius on. I'll show you that when we come out to take a measurement. Now, we've touched off, set everything at zero. We've set our dial indicator on the edge of our spherical race here. Everything's on zero there. So as the traverse, as, as the carriage, sorry, carriage traverses along, we make adjustments on the cross slide to keep the indicator on zero. So as the indicator we keep on zero follows the profile of the ball, we'll mimic that profile inside our housing. Hopefully. So we'll take another cut and see how we go. All the cuts are taken on the compound and we keep going back to zero on the cross slide for our starting point. It's a bit like threading, so same sort of principle. Okay.
slug. It's got a really big radius on that tool. So any discrepancies that I have here, the new radius on the tool should uh, make up for them. We're on halfway. I think we might pull out and take a measurement so we can see where we at, where we're at. Be very careful not to bump the indicator all of our settings. Okay. I think we've got a long way to go, but we'll see if we can't get a, a measurement. There's another shot of our setup with the indicator on, on the inner race. So as it travels along, all we have to do is keep that needle dead on zero. So as we traverse the compound, we wind the cross slide. We start pulling it out, we get to halfway point on the ball that we're tracing, and then we start winding in. And that way the, the tool will mimic the radius in the hole. Let's see if we can get a better shot of the, of the hole. As you can see there, we've got a nice finish on the radius. So we'll take a, a check for size and I think we should be there. Okay, we've run our final cut through. So we'll use our telescopic gauge and measure the bore. You get the thing in there. Now these are going to be pretty tricky to measure the curved bore. There's not much room for rock, rock and roll with your telescopic gauge, so you just got to gently feel her in. Try and find the high, high spot. Coming up half a thou under. We'll take another measurement. Yeah, it's not like measuring a parallel hole. Well, I reckon we've got to be pretty close. Yeah, we're coming up half a thou. 
quarter of half, between half and a quarter of a thou undersize. So we'll just polish that out with a bit of emery paper. Take another measurement. That's bang on. You probably can't read that. But yeah, she's bang on, inch and a half. So we've had some success. So the next stop will be to, there's a bit of profiling work, which is just uh, freehand on the outside. And then we flip her over and we have to mill two slots that'll enable us to get our bush get it off the we have to mill two slots that'll enable us to get our bush into the hole and then it will rotate around sideways and be in its location so we'll move on to the next stop that looks promising We'll get the tape measure out and we'll check this one out. Okay, we'll get a measurement on this one. It's a bit rusty. I think it'll do the job. It's only a temporary, temporary gate. I'm going to do this one hand with my tape, tape measure. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we've got 14 foot. That's all right, one foot overlap. That'll be cool. I'll we'll get this one removed and fitted to the front. Well, okay, we've procured our gate. Oh, dear me. So we'll head off to the front and fit her up. Well, make an attempt to fit her up. Right. Off we go again. <laughs> 